Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the volumetric displacement and parotical flow rate of hydraulic pumps. Here, in the previous class sessions, I have discussed the different types of the pumps, gear pumps, vein pumps, and piston pumps. And there, volumetric displacement. How much volume of the fluid will be displaced or supplied and the theoretical flow rate the theoretical how much the flow rate is to be uh, designed as per the requirement for the gear pumps and vein pumps and the piston pumps i am going to discuss here first we'll move for the gear pumps in that gear pumps we'll take that is a d naught outside diameter of gear for teeth in meter di inside diameter of the gear teeth in meter l is length of the gear teeth in meter vd displacement volume of pump in meter cube per revolution n is speed of the pump in rpm qt is theoretical pump flow rate in meter cube volumetric displacement can be written as vd equal to pi by 4 d naught square minus of the di square into L. Here, theoretical flow rate will be Qt into Vd into N. The volumetric displacement, what we determine, that will be multiplied with a number of revolutions. Here, from the gear pump, how we can take? Here, the this is outside diameter of the gear teeth. That whatever this diameter is there, this we are going to take as the D0. And this is the inside diameter di. Okay, di here in between these two, what the area is there? That is the area will be the outside radii. If you take the circular gear, then it will be pi d naught square by 4. It's cross sectional area we are going to take. And inside area, this will be subtracted from that one. There is a pi di square into a by di square by 4 okay then this difference whatever is there it will be it it's whatever the this area we are going to get this area we are going to get here only for this distance only for the distance whatever the volume flow will be taking place in the during the its operation that volume we have taken and total length of the gear whatever is there that we are going to take that gear will be length we are going to take as the L. Okay, in this direction, right angles to this paper, right angles to this screen, the whatever the length of the gear is there, that we are going to take. And that is the volumetric displacement. The volumetric displacement of the one or whatever the gear teeth is there, that we are going to take. And for the number of uh, this gear teeth, whatever the volumetric displacement is there, that we, if you multiply with the number of gears, the volumes, whatever flowing is there, that will be taken by the RPM we are going to take. Here, this whatever the volumetric displacement, that difference of this one outside area and minus of the inside area we have taken, multiplied with the length of the gear, that is the volumetric displacement and theoretical flow rate will be the theoretical flow rate will be this volumetric displacement multiplied with a rpm the speed of the the gear pump whatever is there that we are going to take that will use the volumetric displacement of the gear pump next moving for the vein pump the vein pump again dc diameter of the cam ring and dr diameter of the rotor and L is width of the rotor and V is pump volumetric displacement meter cube per minute and E is eccentricity that will be going to take as M. E max is maximum possible eccentricity and V D max is equal to maximum possible volumetric displacement meter cube per RPM. Here this is the vein pump. In this vein pump we are going to take that DC is the the diameter of the cam ring, the whatever this cam ring is there, okay, its diameter we are going to take, diameter of the this cam ring, okay, then T 
dr is the diameter of this rotor diameter of the this rotor okay then here l is the that is the width of the rotor the rotor in this right angle to this one how much width it is there then vd is the volumetric displacement we are what we are going to get from this one okay then e is the eccentricity the eccentricity means the difference between the center line of the rotor and center line of the cam ring this is the center line of the cam ring okay the, and this is the center line of the rotor and this distance whatever is there this is the eccentricity eccentricity we are going to take okay this eccentricity we are going to take and this will be varied that can be varied the eccentricity will be carried and the maximum possible eccentricity the what we can get from that maximum flow rate or a maximum displacement we are going to get and if you keep the maximum eccentricity e max then it will become say volumetric displacement e max vd max we are going to get the maximum possible volumetric displacement we are going to get if you reduce that distance the volumetric displacement will be reduces and all the parts we have discussed while taking the vane pump and this only the calculation we need to take next moving further here from the geometry we can find the maximum eccentricity the maximum eccentricity what we can get e, e max is equal to diameter of the cam ring minus of the diameter of the rotor by 2 okay the eccentricity whatever is there diameter total diameter we are going to take and by 2 it will be half of that will gives the eccentricity and then because it is a diameter we are going to both way we are going to take and we'll take that is a sketch also for that and then this maximum value of eccentricity produces a maximum volumetric displacement and that maximum maximum volumetric displacement will be given like this again the cross sectional area of that uh, cam ring minus of cross sectional area of that uh, rotor multiplied by the l that will gives the maximum volumetric displacement then noting that we have the difference between the two square term shields okay there is a square term shield difference terms are there okay that is we are going to take here that will gives the volumetric displacement and here vd max is equal to the vd max again we can find that is this can be written as this term can be written as dc square minus of the dr square can be written as dc plus dr into dc minus of dr this way we can write and this equation whatever is there that we can write in this way that is pi by 4 dc plus dr and dc minus of dr that is a dc square dc square minus of the dr square can be written in this way then further moving substitute the the expression for e max yields the e max whatever is there this value e max is there dc minus dr by 2 dc minus dr by 2 therefore that is dc minus dr is equal to 2 into multiplication of this e max that if you substitute in this equation that is here vd max is equal to vd max is equal to again pi by 4 dc dc plus of dr this value this value we have taken then this dc minus dr is equal to 2 into e max that is substituted here then into l the term will be there there is a length then again this we can the two to get cancels then the vd max can be written as the pi by 2 into dc plus dr into e max l also we can write the actual volumetric displacement occurs when e max is equal to e the e, this is we have taken the maximum displacement and actual volumetric displacement whatever it may be it may be maximum or minimum actual volumetric displacement can be written when e max is equal to e that is a e is the eccentricity here it is a distance between the two centers so there is a rotor center and the cam ring center then vd equal to pi by 2 dc plus dr into el this is the volumetric displacement okay volumetric displacement of the that vane pump then theoretical flow rate volumetric displacement multiplied with the number of 
rotations or revolutions that is a n we can take the q2 is equal to vd into n this is the volumetric displacement multiplied by the n will use the theoretical flow rate of the vane pump this is the about the vane pump we have taken next we will move for the another type of the pump there is a piston pump in that piston pump particularly we are going to take the piston pump of the bent axis type bent axis type of the that piston pump we are going to take the following nomenclature and analysis are applicable to an axial piston pump of bent axis that is theta offset angle and s is piston stroke and d is piston circle diameter y number of pistons e piston area meter square n is piston speed in rpm then qt theoretical flow rate in meter cube per minute and from trigonometry whatever the piston is there we can get the tan theta is equal to s by d here this is the theta this is the theta actually in this figure it is taken as alpha this is the theta offset angle okay the bent axis type of the piston uh, axial piston pump this one and s is the stroke the stroke length it is for what distance the it will be moving the piston is moving that is the stroke length we are going to get the stroke length okay then d is piston circle diameter the piston circle here the outside circle whatever is that the piston circle diameter this one okay the piston the number of pistons for which what diameter those are arranged this is the piston circle diameter and s is the piston stroke piston circle diameter why number of pistons how many number of pistons are there in that circular okay then a is area piston area the area of this piston the area we are going to take the cross sectional area of the piston then n is speed in rpm the pump speed in rpm we are going to take then ut theoretical flow rate again meter cube per minute what we need to find out then from the trigonometry we can write tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to piston stroke this distance and by the piston circle diameter okay here this whatever the tan theta what we can find out there the this stroke whatever is the stroke this one and the this diameter we are going to take the stroke and the diameter by the relation we can write this one tan theta is equal to s by d that is the piston stroke by the diameter of the piston circle then by taking this one that is tan theta is equal to s by 2 s by d further we will move to find the volumetric displacement and the theoretical flow rate here tan theta is equal to s by d we have taken from the previous then s can be written as this is d tan theta then total displacement volume the total displacement volume equal to the number of pistons multiplied by the displacement volume per piston okay then total volume total displacement volume is equal to that is the number of pistons number of pistons y what are there multiplied by the displacement volume of the one piston okay that we can write volumetric displacement is equal to number of pistons multiplied with the area of the piston multiplied with stroke length that is a cross sectional area multiplied with a stroke length and that will gives the volumetric displacement of the piston pump then this again we can write s yes can be substituted from above equation substituting s yes, we have that is if vd is equal to that is a y a s yes equal to d tan theta okay d tan theta we can substitute for this one then from equations we obtain the relations for theoretical flow rate also from this one the theoretical flow rate how we can obtain that is a vd into n we know that one and that can be written as okay here it will be different for this uh, distant pump okay the theoretical flow rate will be the this <coughs> will be d a n y tan theta by 231 in terms of the english units it will be there okay d is the piston circle diameter and a is the area from this one d a and y tan theta will be there and n we have multiplied vd equal to da this da 
y tan theta that will be the volumetric displacement and it will be multiplied with that and it will be multiplied 231 we are going to take in the english units and similarly we obtain the relationship for the theoretical flow rate okay in matrix unit in the matrix unit also we can obtain that, that uh, how we can obtain that one q2 is equal to the same thing that's a y d tan theta multiplied with a n n here also it will be multiplied in the why we have taken that is a y d tan theta into n can be taken but in the uh, that is uh, books whatever are used for the reference uh, they have taken in this way only dan dani tan theta dani tan theta it will be there okay that's why there may be the some relationship to remember that's why dani tan theta will be taken as the theoretical flow rate of the piston pump like this uh, the all the pumps we can determine the volumetric displacement as well as theoretical flow rates in the different pumps and the based on this one the expression what we have developed what we have uh, uh, used this can be used for solving the numericals i am going to solve the numericals in the further sessions thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment